guys. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey guys, how's it going? It's good to see everybody. What's up, Gavin? What's up, Kyan? What's up, Zach? You guys have a good weekend, hopefully. What's new with you guys? Nothing. Gavin can stand up on a ball now on his own without support from pillows. I know that. I know that's true. What's up with you, Kyan? Did you get up on that exercise ball? All right, guys, let's get on our feet. Did you say no, Kyan? What? Were you able to get up on that exercise ball you were trying the other day? No? All right, we'll keep working on it. All right, guys, everybody up on your feet. 20 jumping jacks. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Good job, there are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Ten squats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten push ups. Begin. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On your backs. Guard cross, feet up high, touch your chest, toes, touch your chest back and forth. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right foot on top of your left knee, opposite elbow to your knee. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, guys. Triangles with your legs. Ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Sit up. Neck exercises. Chin your chest. Shake your head. Yes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick your head no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here to your shoulder, back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Feet out in front of you. Back break falls. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big stretch, guys. Arms over your head, feet up in front of you. Sit up. Left leg out, right leg in. Touch your toes. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both feet out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs in a V. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, Lock your hands behind your knees. Rock like a rocking chair. No hands. All right, guys, great job. So today we're going to work on something uh, fundamental, guys. All right, we're going to work on our double legs. And we're going to work on opening the closed guard, not a specific pass. I'm going to give you guys options, but we're going to focus on concentrating on our posture and the opening of the guard, not the pass. Far too many times we get ahead of ourselves thinking about opening and passing the guard. We forget that we need to pin them there in order to pass their guard. And we release the pin to jump to the pass when we need to focus on some other things. So we're gonna work on that. But first, we're gonna work on our double legs, okay? So what's important when we're doing our double leg takedown or any takedown, generally, is our hips being underneath our shoulders. If I can control my hips, no matter what type of takedown I'm trying to do, then I'm gonna be in a good position. As soon as I start separating my heads and my shoulders from my hips and I start reaching, and I take all that power and that leverage away, okay? So if you think about that line, like let's imagine, pretend for a second that Coach Gabe is standing on top of that line. The further away I am from that line, his bisecting his feet, the, the further away I am from this line, the, the more I have to reach to get to that takedown, right? The, fur, the closer I am to it, the closer I am to him. So if he's standing on that line, and I'm this far away, and I try my shot, I'd have to reach this far to try to get to his legs, right? Then on the same thing, if I step here, by the time I get to his legs, he's gonna fall over, right? Well, the chances of being like that are like so slim, but, if I try to step, step forward. If I try to step on that line, then I'm gonna be in a good position that when I drive forward, I can get my hips and chest connected to him, and then I'll still be in a good position to be able to stand back up. Because what's his most powerful position from the ground? Top three, guard, right? So as long as he's on the ground and he's on his back, number one position is probably going to be closed guard. Unless he sweeps and gets to mount or takes someone's back, that would be the only improvement. But as long as he's got their back, I mean, as long as uh, he's got my me and his guard, he's attacking the whole time. So I don't want to take him down from a bad position, defaulting into his guard and with bad posture, and then allowing him to attack right away. So let's fix this takedown. So that way, as our takedown is working, we're finishing it so that way we've got our hips underneath us, we can stand up and we're ready to pass again from our feet, okay? We're a lot more mobile up here and can move their legs out of the way than it is on the ground and I'm on my knees. So if you're by yourself, what you're gonna work on is a squat, step, drive my knee to the ground as I step forward and then stand up, okay? Again, if I'm by myself, I'm gonna Squat, and this is a great drill that you can work on too, guys. I shouldn't have to use my hands to push off my legs or the ground. I need to keep my head and my shoulders above my hips. Grappling stance, squat, step, drive my knee to the ground, step forward, and then stand up. Okay? Shouldn't have to use my hands. If I have Coach K, or you have a partner, try to get them to stand on a line, or if you don't have that, you can still imagine by stepping in between their legs. If you guys have all been with me for a long time, I should be close enough that I can touch him if I'm going to shoot. I cannot do a shot if I'm this far away. 
The reason for that is, is I need to try to step in between his legs. So from my grappling stance, I'm close enough that I can touch, squat, step in between their legs, that line. I'm gonna hug their legs, drive my knee to the ground, step forward and stand back up. The exact thing I did two seconds ago by myself. So again, Coach Gabe standing on the line, I'm close enough where I can touch, squat, step forward to that line, hug those legs, drive my knee forward, stand up, and help my partner up. My head and my shoulders are up the entire time, and I've got a great shot taking them down, standing up, ready to pass their guard. All right, let's do it, guys. One, two, three. There you go, Kyan. I mean, uh, Zach. Zach. So that's exactly what I'm talking about right there, Zach. Look, 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 Zach, stop, don't move. Don't move. Ah, Zach, I told you not to move, bud. So your knee wasn't even a foot. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Zach, right there. Your knee is this far from even that line. Your knee needs to be on the other side of that line. You need to be trying to step in between their legs. So start back up, Zach. Yeah, that's the problem. Nope, start back over, Zach, start back over. Right, watch guys, you guys need to pay attention. It's super, super important. This is what happens. Sometimes I show you guys stuff and then you try to do it too fast and don't concentrate on the things that are important, which are the technique. Guys, I don't need you to do this thing a thousand times as fast as you can do it to see how many you can do. I would rather you do it three times perfect than a hundred times incorrect. Because if you do it three times perfect, that's three good times. A hundred times incorrect is teaching you the bad way to do something. That's like trying to write backwards like this, okay? It's hard to do. I wanna teach you guys how to write regular, all right? So pay attention, it's super important, guys. Close enough where I can touch. Squat, step in between their legs. Hug their legs. And then I'm gonna drive my front knee to the ground, step forward and then stand back up, okay? I don't care how fast you go. They stand on a line or on the ground, close enough where you can touch. Squat, step between their legs, hug their legs, drive, step, and let's stand up. All right, guys? Even if it's that slow, but we need to practice perfection so that way when it's time to execute and do it live rolling, we're gonna try to get it as close as we can. All right, guys, let's do it. One, two, three. Step closer, Gavin. There you go, Zach. Step closer, Hug Gavin. the legs, drive. Yes, you see what happens now? Yeah, now stand back up, bud. Exactly. When we do it the right way, we actually take people down. There you go, drive, hug the legs, drive your knee forward. Put your knee down, There, she's gonna fall down. Remember guys, we're restricting the leg movement backwards. So we're pulling those legs as we're pushing with our face. Like we're trying to look through a window. Zach, you need to go lower on the legs. You're, they, they're just walking backwards when you go to drive. They shouldn't be able to move their feet back as you're driving with your chest. Right behind the knee. Yeah. Now drive with your chest. There you go. That's much better. Nice, Gavin. Head up, Zach. Head up. So look, you're driving with your shoulder, Zach. Now you went back. Remember, we have to do all the things, not just some of them. When we hug those legs, our chest should be connected to the legs, not our shoulder. I shouldn't be looking down. I should be looking up, plowing with my chest. Hug the legs. Drive with your chest, Zach. Drive with, yes, there we go. Head up. 
Head up, Zach. Head up, Zach. Head up, Zach. Gavin, try not to go into the side either. As you're taking your shots, you're kind of ducking to the side a little bit. Squat, step, square hips, square chest, all the way down to them. Okay, bud? Straight drive. Yeah, there you go. Drive with your knee forward as drive, well. Yeah, drive with your knee forward. You're putting your knee in the same spot that your foot is. Instead of that, you should advance. Right. You should not be doing this. You should, not be doing this. You should be doing this. Okay. You step your foot in one place. Instead of putting your knee in the same place, you want to go forward. That's what we're trying to do, guys. All right, we're going to move it to this next position, guys. We're going to concentrate on the opening of the closed guard today. Okay? And then from there, we're going to have options that we can do from that position. All right, guys, so starting from Coach Gabe's closed guard, a couple things that are important. My hands really need to be on their hips because what I need to do is isolate their hips. I generally don't use the lapels because they can still shake their hips side to side. Okay. I don't generally grab onto a sleeve unless I'm going to put it on their abdomen, but here up top, they can still move their hips. Okay. So anytime I'm trying to open his guard, I need to stop his hip movement. Okay. One thing that's super, super easy to do is keep my thumbs along my fingers just like this. If I can do that, it's really, really natural to have my elbows tight against my body. As soon as I open my hands up like C's, then it's natural to have wider elbows. When I have wider elbows, it's easy for Gabe to pull me down on top of him all the time, get me to plant my hands on the ground, attack my arm, sweeping it on top of me. But if I keep my thumbs along my fingers, my elbows are naturally to my body as Gabe tries to pull me forward. It's a lot harder for him to get to the inside of my elbows and pull me like for real. If you try it, it really works. Now, that being said, I'm not always going to be able to keep my head up. Sometimes I may need to rest or I'm tired or they're yanking on my neck. The other place that I can be with my head all the way up here, or if I can control his arms, I can bring my head down low but I can't bring my head down low if I'm not controlling his arms. Because if I'm not controlling his arms, then he's either gonna be breaking mine or choking my neck, okay? So I can't stay in this middle zone right here. My hands need to go onto his arms and I'm down low, maybe taking a break, working another pass, or hands are on his hips, elbows to the inside. Now, the other thing that happens when we're here, we're pressing down on their hips, we let go of the pressure to then concentrate on the leg and then they start moving their hip again, right? So what I wanna do is have both of my hands on his hips and I'm gonna to lean to the side. Now my hand's still pushing on his hip. Even if he wants to move his body that way, it's gonna be okay because I'm opening that leg. In order for him to hip escape that way, he's gotta put that leg on the ground and I'm pushing that leg down anyway. The last thing that's gonna happen is my inside knee is gonna post out on the back of his leg. Now from this position, if I stand up, I'm able to start passing his guard a lot faster than he can keep up with me, okay? So today we're concentrating on opening that closed guard. A couple things that we're gonna work on doing. First, my thumbs are in line with my fingers and they go to his hips. Next, next I've got wide knees for a wide base and my elbows are tight against my ribs. I really don't care what Gabe does at this point. If he grabs my lapel, I'll remove his grip, but I cannot adjust my posture, okay? I can't come down unless I have control of his arms. Then I work my way back to gain posture. Again, thumbs against fingers. I'm gonna lean to the side. This allows me to bring my hand to the inside of his leg with my arm straight. Before I push his leg to the ground, my arm's gonna be straight, guys, okay? Now my inside knee comes up. Post out, I step out wide to have a good wide base again. Now, if I want to stand up, I can. Or if I just scoop this leg and move it to the side, I'll be able to pass his guard. All right? If you look at it from the side, guys.
from this position, again, my head and my shoulders are over my hips. My thumbs are with my hands and my elbows are by my side. If Gabe tries to pull me forward, it's going to be tough for him to do that. But if he happens to, if I bring my hips forward, that's going to save me. Okay. Now I lean my body to the side while having generally straight arms. Slide my back to his leg while I keep my arm straight and then shove it to the ground. My knee comes up and then points out to have a wide base. He's probably going to bring their legs up because you're making them basically do the splits, which is the easy part. As I push with that leg, this one comes up more. It's easy to pass it to the side. All right. Let's try it, guys. One, two, three. I think we get a new kid today. Huh? I think there's a new kid today. Our make stand together, elbow locked out. It's easier to push when your elbow is locked out. I guess when we come on top, we're trying to lock our arm and then push it back down. That's why we move to the side. Even if we need to bend our arm initially, we straighten it out before we put it back down on the ground. As you put that left foot on the floor, Gavin, push his leg down to your chin. Yes, down past your knee. That's when he's going to lift his other leg up. There you go. Now, hand under the other leg. If that's... Gavin's like, get that leg out of here. Arm extended, arm extended. Don't Think about that wide base, Gavin. Yeah, you got to step up with your left foot, Gavin. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's the opposite. Look, if you're pushing his leg down with your right hand, your right hand's going to hold his knee. Then your left leg is going to open his legs up. Yeah, push his leg out with your left leg, Gavin. No, 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 put your hand back on his abdomen. Yeah, if you do that, yeah. But look, Gavin, look, look, this is what you're doing. You're, I think your dad's trying to help you there. That way. So look, bud, watch. If my hands are on his waist, when I lean to the side, if I push this leg down and I'm holding it with my hand, my other knee is going to push his leg the other way. So my hand that pushed the knee stays on the knee. My other leg pushes his leg. My hand has to stay on his abdomen. That's what happens the most of the time. People let go of the, the gut, and then their hips start moving. They lose the, the opening of their guard. Okay? Keep your hand. Look, both of your hands are controlling their abdomen. Move your body to the side. Push that leg down. As soon as it gets to the ground, your other leg is going to push the other leg the other way. Now watch, this leg, as I push it down, it makes the other one come up so it's easier to push to the side, okay? 
just because the way the body works. Look, Gabe can only do the split so far. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. He doesn't want to go. So it's going to go this way. The other one's got to come up. See him stopping me? He doesn't want to do the splits. And I'm making him do the splits here like this. So as I push this leg down, the other one's naturally going to come up. Otherwise, he's going to break in half like a wishbone. Okay? All right, guys. Let's try it out. One, two, three. Ready for We'll have a couple more minutes, guys, and we've got a class coming up. Zach, I can't see anything but feet. There you go, Gavin. And even if you wanted to pass forward there, Gavin, you'd be able to. You know what I'm saying? And look at your dad. See what I'm saying? He doesn't want to be in that position. You're helping yourself pass when you do that because they're like, oh, my God, let me get that leg over there. Oh, he, he knows. He's doing it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Leverage. Use it. Jimmy's like, ow. <laughs> Up, Davis. All right, guys, last minute. Actually, we got to call it now, guys. Great job today. Hey, we're going to go, Davis. We're going to go, go. Great job today, guys. We're going to keep working on this. I'm going to put this on YouTube as soon as it gets done downloading. So you'll be able to go back and review it if you want to keep practicing. It'll probably take me about five minutes. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome night. This Friday through next Monday, Memorial Day weekend, we're not going to have class. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. So we're not going to have class on this Friday or next Monday. All right. So four days this week, four days next week, guys. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Great seeing you guys. Oh, and the anniversary date for here changed as well. It's now the 10th of July is going to be the seven-year anniversary here. So if you guys are interested in coming back in at that time, the 10th of July will be the seven, seven-year anniversary party here. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week and an awesome night. Coach Gabe and I will see you guys later. Thanks, guys. See you soon.